Good evening guys, this is Maya. Welcome back to my channel. Today in this video, we are going to learn how to apply two textures for one wall. In your projects, you may come across two tone walls. Tone walls are walls that are painted in two different colors instead of just one. And you might have different patterns within this two tone walls. For example, here we have to one portion of the wall, we have one color and the next portion, it is a different color. This is divided horizontally. You have another pattern wherein we have same white and green combination but here the wall is divided in vertical sections like this part vertically is divided in different color this one is different plus you might not just have horizontal or vertical divisions like this in painted walls you might also have just diagonally divided like this let's start with something simple which is horizontally divided when you try to search this texture combination in google you may not directly get the same combination same pattern images that's why it's better if you create one to create your own textures you can use canva if you don't know canva that's not an issue because it's very easy to use canva you can make your account in canva and log in okay when you are in canva select presentation okay here we'll be making this pattern which is horizontally divided okay so for that we'll go to elements and type shape here you have different shape options see all select this one okay one selected position it on the corner and scale it to exactly half okay then you can select again here you have color option in the colors here two scales one is this one for different colors and one for different gradients okay not just this you can even add directly the hex code if you know the hex code of your texture you can copy that hex code and paste it there i have this excel sheet of the hex code i will choose something from here i have pearl white copy this hex code paste it here okay top wall is completed now for the bottom i will just control c control v and scale it properly here i will choose something in green again green you can go to color here select this one and here you can change the gradient of the color okay or if you have the hex code you can choose the same once this is done you can save your file as texture share download download it in png and down this is a texture which we made okay now we will go to the dialogs we'll make a small room go to room to import that texture we'll go to material create texture material select your material file open okay material type it's painted then apply material see though the material is applied it is not scaled properly okay there are two ways you can scale the material first way is that before applying the texture itself control z here you can change the height and width of the texture okay suppose if i keep three and three and then apply material see it got applied exactly the way we need it okay this is your first way second way is that when you apply the material if it is not properly scaled you can select the material when you select here in the positioning you have width and height you can manually change it here height 3 width 3 5 whatever you need the value you can give it manually here okay so this way you can apply two colors for one board okay easy simple now suppose if if we had a vertical division of the paint something like this this side is more wider green section is little bit narrow okay so how are we going to accurately do it here it was simple it was just half and half but here it's not the same then how are we going to do that for that what we are going to do is let me just clean the file and just delete it to draw accurately you need to have some grids or margins okay for that you will go to file settings add guides okay go for custom here you can add the number of columns and the number of rows you need okay now for this let us consider a scale okay let us assume this is around 3 meters width okay if this is 3 meter let's assume this green color is up to 1 meter and this one is up to 2 meters okay how we'll do that here since my wall is 3 meters i will add 3 columns and 3 rows okay and the gap in between both should be 0 here also it's 0 add guides okay clear now again go to elements in the shape choose rectangle and as i mentioned you this one we are considering it to be only of one meter right so i will place this 
only here okay and this is my green color so i can add any color from here not just green you can choose any color of your choice okay this is done finished this section let's draw this section for that simply select the set texture ctrl c ctrl v this is around 2 meters that's why we added 3 columns in one column we have added the green in this 2 columns which is beige in color we will go to color and change the texture you can manually edit it from here okay done right once you have finished share download keep it in png and done let's go to the dialogs see this side wall is 3 meters but this is 5 meters so I will apply material on this wall okay material create texture material select this open I will resize it to 3 3 then make it in painted apply material here let's apply this normal color see perfect you have applied this the same way so this way you can make different patterns in canva and use it as a material in the dialog let's try one more let's try this one for that let me delete this one this is a bit different than the previous ones because previous ones were simple it was only square shape for this i don't need any grid lines or the guides for that i'll just go to file settings and click on show rules and guides since it's on it will get off okay done now to draw this kind of triangle shapes we'll go to elements and type here shape see all you have these many patterns we will search for triangle here it is now this one i will rotate it position it at one corner and then scale it but this is not proper this is diagonally divided this is not the same way so for that i will just zoom out and i will just scale it okay now it is proper don't worry it may appear like your texture is outside the template but that's not a problem we will just move a little bit background color let's keep this you can edit its gradient okay then this one properly position share download keep it in png and download then let's go to dialogs let's apply that texture here create texture material go to downloads this is your material open material type painted apply material so it got placed as a pattern but if you need this texture to be properly scaled you can select this i showed you one way of scaling here giving the values manually or you can when you select this texture you have this scale of the texture wherein you have points at x and y axis so select this point and drag it okay then select this point on the x axis and drag it see this way your texture got properly scaled to the wall this is how you make two-tone wall or color pattern wall in the dialogs let me just quickly apply some lighting run the calculation and show you the results i have placed the luminous let's run the calculations calculation is completed check the 3d you can Go to the display options, adjust the brightness, you can adjust even the white balance and this is your textures with light. Now I just placed simple down lights but you can design it as per your lighting concept for your project. Overall this is how you can make your own textures and use it in the dialogues. So this is it guys in this video. If you like this video do hit a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel and stay tuned to explore more in dialogues with me. Thank you.